On a hillside in Roan County near the town of Walton, the sounds of a drill rig and a concrete pump fill the air. Contractors are working to seal this abandoned orphaned well that was leaking oil into a nearby stream. This is video from our first visit to the site back in March. This well was, was identified uh, from an emergency spill line notification. Uh, someone local had uh, observed oil in the stream and it was traced up to the source of the well. Orphaned wells are abandoned wells that have no documented owner. The DEP knows of roughly 6,300 abandoned orphaned wells across the state, plus an undetermined number of undocumented ones. Before 1929, oil and gas wells drilled in West Virginia didn't require a permit, so records are spotty at best. The agency believes this well dates back to around 1916. A plugging permit for the well was issued in 1951, and records indicate it was plugged using methods common at the time a combination of clay, crushed stone, and 10 foot cement plugs. Current practice places a much greater emphasis on cement. You take the well head off, then you go down and you set, uh, you know, put your, you set your bottom plug, then you come up and there's like an elevation plug, cut plug, there's two different plugs and you, you know, work your way to the surface and you set your final plug, which is a surface plug, and then after that you'll uh, attach a monument onto it and you'll weld the API number and then it's, it's plugged. The API number is a unique identifier assigned to each oil and gas well in the U.S. Everyone drilled in West Virginia since 1929 has one. Each cement plug has to set up before the next one can be poured. Once the permits are in place and the equipment brought on site, the process typically takes about a week to complete. After they're finished plugging, uh, you know, we'll just put everything back to the way it was or better. You know, reclaim it, seed and mulch it, put some straw on it, and here in a couple months, you'll never know anybody was ever here. The bipartisan infrastructure law granted West Virginia $25 million to plug, cap, and reclaim orphaned oil and gas wells throughout the state. It's part of an overall $5.4 billion national effort to clean up legacy pollution, Superfund sites, brownfields, and the like. In Roan County, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. Thanks for watching.